I love the dovetail flat bat trainers. I'll get one real quick. These flat bat trainers, if you can see it's flat on the sides here, the roundness of the barrel has been cut off and you're supposed to hit it on what I call the edge. And you can see they've started putting a note on their bat. You must hit the ball here. So what happens is when you do it properly and you swing from, you snap the bat back here, that mark, see that white dot? That comes through properly when I do it from behind the corner and I don't let my weight shift. I let my weight shift and then I swing. Oops, where's the white dot? It's not, you're not gonna hit the bat, the ball in the right spot on the bat. So the snap and tilt from behind the corner, give you this angle here. When I snap and tilt my bat right there, that white dot is in the path of the ball. When I don't do that, hold the bat exactly the same, but kind of get pushy with it, you can't see the white dot. I like the dovetail flat bat trainer. It's instant feedback. You'll know when you hit it here, sounds really good, feels really good. And you'll know when you hit it here, it feels like crap and it doesn't sound very good. Okay? I posted a video of me trying to stretch and not get stuck on the back side in this group. Could you look at that? Send it to my email. I don't have time to go looking through the chat for this stuff. Okay? On an outside pitch, at what point of the swing should the hands actually go out to get it? Well, that has a lot to do with your timing. If your timing is really good, you don't really have to let the hands out much because Okay? If I let the ball travel deep, I haven't let my hands out at all. And I'm hitting that ball right there opposite field. Okay? <clears throat> if the pitch is really, really low and outside, I might have to let my arms out to get the barrel that low. But if I'm a little early, I might also have to let my hands out. Like I was ready, I was, I'm doing it right, but the ball isn't there yet. I might hit the ball out front. I might have to push them out there. The feeling should be hit the ball at six o'clock. Six o'clock is right here. That's six o'clock on the outside pitch. This is six o'clock on the middle pitch and that's six o'clock on the inside pitch. Notice I didn't do anything different up here. Six o'clock and everything stays the same up there, upstairs. The difference is my leg turn, okay? Train your bat, train your, yourself to hit every ball at six o'clock. Of course, we don't hit every ball at six o'clock because the pitchers are good, but that's the goal. And if that's our goal and we're doing it properly, we'll be able to hit some balls that got on us a little bit and we'll be able to hit some balls that we hit.